Right now, live at 5, more states tighten restrictions as cases of the coronavirus continue on an upward trend. Plus, the transition of power at the White House continues for President-elect Biden despite pushback from the Trump administration. And Wisconsin's governor announces millions of dollars in grant money to help educators and students who are learning remotely. The gigantic tree on the corner will be no more this year. Find out how Minnesota Power is finding other ways to give back. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over the city of Duluth on this Tuesday evening. As cases rise across the Northland and the country, we're hearing from lawmakers both in our state and across the Midwest region. Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. Thanks for joining us tonight. The U.S. has recorded more than 100,000 new cases per day over the last 14 days. Those numbers are much higher than they were early on in the pandemic. Now, 28 states have tightened restrictions. Chris Martinez reports from Los Angeles. Open. A chance to reopen California from business owners who learned most of the state's indoor businesses must close, operate at a fraction of capacity, or move outside. Many restaurant owners believe they're being unfairly targeted and say the virus will keep spreading with people gathering inside homes. They're not wearing masks, they're not washing their hands, they're not serving food properly. California is experiencing its fastest increase, and in most counties, gyms have closed too. Masks were mandatory, but no one was really wearing it. So I understand why they closed the gyms. California's governor has also announced he's strengthening the mask mandate. Residents statewide must now wear masks whenever they're outdoors. In the Midwest, where cases are also surging, seven governors released a joint announcement urging residents to stay COVID safe this holiday. It's more important now than ever that we double down on mask wearing. In Iowa, air ambulances are working around the clock, transporting COVID patients to overwhelmed hospitals. We're working our butts off here. Uh, we're trying to do our part. We would love for everyone to do their part because we're exhausted. On Tuesday, Iowa passed 2,000 coronavirus deaths. It's averaging 20 deaths per day, triple the rate from just two months ago. In Wisconsin, children's hospitals are starting to admit adult patients from overwhelmed hospitals. And in Oklahoma, some hospitals are sending patients to neighboring states for treatment. This is real and we're in a hospital crisis. Pennsylvania is now reporting more than 5,000 daily infections, up more than 115 percent in just two weeks. With deaths also rising, health officials strengthened the mask mandate and ordered anyone entering the state be tested within 72 hours, including residents who leave for Thanksgiving. Ohio's governor just announced a three-week retail curfew, saying stores must close at 10 p.m. Meanwhile, Hawaii has issued a new statewide mask mandate, which says businesses must refuse service to customers not wearing a face covering. And New Orleans city officials just announced there will be no Mardi Gras parades in 2021. After hinting at it Monday, Minnesota's governor says he still isn't ready to announce new restrictions as COVID cases continue increasing statewide. Minnesota reported nearly 6,000 new cases today and 26 new deaths. The state has now topped 260,000 cases and sits just shy of 3,000 deaths. Governor Tim Wall says they are still gathering the data on who and when the virus is impacting people as well as where. He says they can't target new restrictions until the data is complete. And so it takes a little bit of time. We need to make sure that we're listening and hearing and seeing um, exactly what's on the ground and then issuing those orders. While the governor didn't guarantee new restrictions, he did say the peacetime emergency that's been in effect since March enables him to take action. Meanwhile, a bipartisan group of Midwestern governors is asking people to do their part to protect themselves and frontline workers this holiday season. The governors of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio held a press conference this afternoon. As COVID cases spike in the region, they're asking people to stay home on Thanksgiving and only celebrate with immediate family. Minnesota Governor Tim Wall says the governors all feel a sense of urgency as the COVID outbreak worsens.
give if we want our children in school and we want our businesses thriving and we want our neighbors to get to the uh, light at the end of the tunnel with our vaccine the best thing we can do together is wear the mask social distance buckle down wall says the governors are also talking about how to fairly distribute a vaccine amongst residents once it arrives for President-elect Joe Biden, the transition work continues. Today, he met with national security experts and announced new White House appointments. Meanwhile, President Trump has ordered a drawdown of troops in the Middle East, which could affect the beginning months of a Biden administration. Michael George is in Delaware with more. The Biden-Harris transition team has announced several more incoming White House senior staff picks. Among them is Louisiana Congressman Cedric Richmond, who will vacate his seat to become a senior advisor and director of the Office of Public Engagement. This new role will allow me to offer advice to the president uh, when he wants it, maybe sometimes when he doesn't want it. President-elect Joe Biden spoke by phone with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu before meeting with a group of outside national security experts. President Trump continues to block his own administration from giving high-level intelligence briefings. The national security meeting here in Delaware comes as the president calls for a major reduction of U.S. troops in the Middle East. That order would be carried out just days before the president-elect is set to take office. By January 15th, 2021, our forces, their size in Afghanistan will be 2,500 troops. Our force size in Iraq will also be 2,500 by that same date. A senior Afghanistan official told CBS News a premature withdrawal could embolden the Taliban to continue violent attacks. He added, God forbid, Afghanistan will once again become the safe haven for international terrorists. I think a precipitous drawdown in either Afghanistan or Iraq would be a mistake. The announced troop reduction falls short of the president's stated campaign goal of bringing all U.S. forces home from Afghanistan by Christmas. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris also joined the national security briefing today virtually. Meanwhile, two sources close to the president tell CBS News that President Trump is seriously considering a 2024 bid for president and has 100 percent mentioned it in conversations with his top advisors in recent days. Meanwhile, Wisconsin's final vote totals are in, and now President Donald Trump is officially on the clock. Brown County was the last to submit its canvassed vote totals today. The canvas totals show Democrat Joe Biden beat Trump by about 20,600 votes. That's close enough for President Trump to file a recount. His team now has until 5 o'clock tomorrow night to pay the estimated $7.9 million for a statewide recount. Trump could also file for a recount in select counties, which would reduce the cost. Dave's here for our first look at the weather. Dave, another chilly morning out there for a lot of folks. Yeah, I thought we'd warm up a hair, but we actually chilled down a hair in a couple of towns. So to the map we go, where we eye up your neck of the woods, Kristen, Hibbing, Chisholm, Buell, 5 above. And here in the Twin Ports, 11 above. But it was as warm as 14 in Ely, so it wasn't bitterly cold everywhere. But Hayward and Solon Springs dropped into the single digits, so it was a brisk start to a good portion of the region this morning. That will change tomorrow, though, because there's a warm front coming our way. What it will change is our temperatures and our cloud conditions. I think tomorrow's going to be partly sunny to mostly cloudy, but dry because the main body of the low is still well off towards the west. So what we're going to get then is that cloudier sky, but dry conditions, partly sunny to mostly cloudy and warmer, thanks to the warm front. Start the day at 18 this time around. Hopefully I'm right this time around, and we finish around 40. Is this the only day of the warm spell? Well, there's probably at least one more, and we'll talk about the duration of the spell coming up in just a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, burger lovers in Ashland can rejoice. Plus, Minnesota is now home to a record-setting piece of nature. City by City is up next. Plus, tonight at 6, the pandemic has forced first responders to make many changes to ensure safety for everyone. But those changes have come at a cost for some fire departments. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Matt. And weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS3. Live local CBS3.
The Veterans Day sale ends soon at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. Plus, take an extra 10% off sale prices on any purchase with zero down, no interest financing until 2022 and free no contact shipping on orders $4.99 or more. The Veterans Day sale ends Wednesday at Home Furniture. Mariah Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and discoverwisconsin.com. Plus, subscribe to The Cabin Podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Because adventure still needs chasing, we gave the newly redesigned 2021 Subaru Crosstrek a more powerful engine. Plus, standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. And Subaru is the most trusted brand for six years running, according to Kelly Blue Book. Love. It's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Lease a new 2021 Subaru Crosstrek for only $199 a month. Visit Miller Hill Subaru today at 4710 Miller Trunk Highway, online at MillerHill.com. What do you get when you add care from Essentia Health and coverage from UCARE? Essentia Care, now available for a more affordable price. Essentia Care's Medicare Advantage plans have premiums that start at $0 per month in select counties. You'll be able to see your Essentia Health provider at our 15 hospitals and 71 clinics. Plus, Essentia Care plans allow you the freedom to see any provider who accepts Medicare. Compare and shop plans at ucare.org slash Essentia Care. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Mack. Tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Christmas is now open at Home Seasonal Concepts. Get 50% off a great selection of trees, wreaths, garland, and all your holiday decor needs. Save 50% on Christmas at Home Seasonal Concepts inside all home furniture showrooms. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Bayfield. Dave will have your full weather forecast in just a few minutes, but first let's take a look around the region. A record-setting tree has been discovered in the Boundary Waters, plus a popular restaurant is once again open in Ashland. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. things off in Ashland where burger lovers can rejoice. After being closed for the past three months, the burger barn is once again open and under new ownership. Former owner Jack Kaiser announced back in August that he would be selling the burger barn to pursue a construction job. That's when Waylon and Brittany Pettit, Pettit came in. The couple reopened the restaurant on November 1st and have kept much of the menu the same. They say the burger barn is following all COVID-19 guidelines. Now let's head to Tower, Minnesota, where Fortune Bay Casino says it will not be adhering to the governor's orders that require restaurants and bars to close by 10 p.m. The Boys Fort Band of Chippewa owns and operates the casino. They say tribal health officials have given them the okay to keep the bar open as long as they continue to follow stringent health precautions. The Boys Fort Band is considered a sovereign nation and does not have to follow the governor's health orders. And finally, we'll head up to the Boundary Waters where a Minnesota tree has been recognized as the largest in the nation. The jack pine comes in at a circumference of 95 inches and a height of 63 feet. It was discovered by ecology researcher Casey Cloder. The tree is considered to be the largest of its species in the country. And while it may be the nation's largest jack pine, it's actually not the largest tree. The world's largest tree is located in California Sequoia National Park and comes in at more than 52,000 cubic feet. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, why Duluth will be without a staple of the holiday season this Christmas. Here's a live look at Ashland eyeing up Schwamigan Bay. Calm conditions there and likely for the next week. Now we really only have one chance for any precip in the next seven days, and that's a slight one. We'll talk about its odds coming up after our break. Are you 
a veteran and a homeowner? Then think Streamline and maybe save yourself hundreds of dollars every month on your mortgage. A VA Streamline refinance is just for veterans and lowers your mortgage rates so you can save on mortgage payments every month, every year. And it's easy to qualify. You don't need pay stubs, a W-2, bank statements, or a home appraisal. And mortgage rates now are very low. Veteran and homeowner? Call 888-327-6866. I've always liked video editing. When I was growing up, I'd made a lot of YouTube videos about hamsters, and I really love squids. I graduated from a really big high school, so coming to UWS, where it's a lot smaller, it allowed me to really find myself. More opportunities are there for me to explore and find out what I really want to do. One of my like overarching dreams is to film and edit a documentary about marine biology. Yeah, I, I would say that I am very happy here. It's the pre-Thanksgiving sale at Fleet Farm. Shop in-store and online for huge savings on things like all Melissa and Doug toys. 30% off our low fleet price. An Eskimo 8-inch pistol bit ice auger, only $149.99. And get a free $50 Fleet Farm gift card when you spend $300 on any Milwaukee or DeWalt products. But hurry, these deals won't last long. Fleet Farm, the brands you trust. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Von Duluth Casino is hiring. Apply today. Coming up tonight, how COVID-19 has impacted the Duluth Fire Department. The gigantic tree on the corner will be no more this year. Find out how Minnesota Power is finding other ways to give back. Tonight at 6. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, the snow over the past couple of weeks has favored some towns more than others. Some on the fringes of our region didn't get that much. But through the center, some towns are doing pretty well, and it's not so bad towards Hayward. Here's a picture from earlier today on the uh, Berkey Trail in between Cable and Hayward from Eric Neff here. And it looks like the snow is building up. Hopefully they'll be able to run the race uh, later on here this winter with that COVID thing. It's a bit up in the air. Well, not too much more snow up in the air for this week. Just one slight chance on Friday, and the odds for that paying off have dropped since we eyed it up yesterday. We'll talk more about it in just a bit, but right now we talk about the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. It's 28 degrees right now. Relative humidity is 58%. Westerly southwesterly winds running about 3 miles per hour. Could pick up towards 15 as the night goes on. Air pressure is pretty high right now at 30.44 inches of mercury, 1,031 millibars. But a warm front coming around with warmer air, which has a little extra lift, will make barometer readings go down a hair tomorrow. Down enough to make for some cloud cover. But cloud cover and a southerly wind... We're looking at a warm-up. We're going back towards 40. So this little cool snap is over, and a two-day warm spell is coming our way. Right now, we have temperatures in the 20s in the Upper Peninsula, running 21 to 26 there, and 25 to 28 degrees here in northwestern Wisconsin. One of the warm spots is Superior at 28. Moose Lake's at 27, so is Two Harbors. Looking at 19 towards Ely and Babbitt, 23 right now for Hibbing and Chisholm. A little warmer for Grand Rapids, and only 20 International Falls, and... Uh, Some towns probably will dip into the teens once again come tomorrow morning, but hopefully this time around the slight warm-up I'm talking about actually happens rather than slapping me in the face like it did this morning when Kristen woke up to 5 degrees. She was supposed to have about 10 or so. Oh, well, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Well, around our region right now, clouds are trying to filter in after high pressure brought us sunshine here today. The clouds are coming courtesy of a warm front. A warm front attached to a low that's well off towards the west. So the warm front will get here first tomorrow, and its passage could make things a bit on the cloudy side. But again, it will warm us up towards 40, even 45 degrees and stay that way through Thursday. Finally, by Friday, the low will be within the vicinity of our region, but now it looks like it's going to take a track or a trek to the south and to the east away from our region, and this chance for flurries on Friday is only about 20%, and it goes away already by Saturday. Looks like it'll clear up by Saturday and probably start to cool down again. This warm spell isn't going to last much more than two days. Back towards normal 
after Thursday. Tonight, Minnesota low temp should run on about 13 to 24. So, Kristen, you guys up there on the, on the Masabi should be double as warm come tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'm not lying. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, we're looking at mid to upper teens for the lows there. And we all get a partly cloudy sky tonight, but tomorrow in Wisconsin and the UP, it becomes a bit cloudier. Highs 40 to 45. They'll be very similar in Minnesota as well, about 39 to 43. Partly sunny to mostly cloudy. And then it will get a little bit sunnier by Thursday and a little bit warmer, 45 then. Then back to normal, 35 for Friday. There's that 20% chance for flurries. And it goes away for the weekend. It'll be sunny for the weekend. 35 degrees is where we're supposed to be this time of year. And then once we get back into the work week next week, we don't go up or down very much. All right. So you're saying the weather is pretty normal right now. I think we can all appreciate some normalcy. <laughs> <laughs> it will days. become normal after some abnormal warmth Wednesday, okay. Thursday. So enjoy the warm spell first and then get used to being normal. All right. Will do. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. A huge Christmas staple will be missed in downtown Duluth this year. Minnesota Power announced its annual Christmas tree will not be displayed this winter due to construction on the plaza. But it's not stopping the company from giving back. CBS 3's Leon Valdez tells us how the company found a new way to spread holiday cheer. 2020 would have marked the 36th year the gigantic tree would be sitting on the corner of Superior Street and Lake Avenue. Instead, Minnesota Power will be lighting up the lives and helping keep people warm with a huge donation to area nonprofits. The Minnesota Power Foundation is dividing up $10,000 to three nonprofits in Duluth. Chum will be getting $5,000 for winter footwear and a warm meal. Kids Closet and Lifehouse will each get $2,500. Kids Closet will use the money to buy coats. The donation to Lifehouse will be used to fill 100 gift bags with mittens, gloves, hand warmers, socks, and other winter items for the youth they serve. Minnesota Power Communications Manager Amy Rutledge says she knows how important the tree is to many across the area, but the needs of the community are too. But when we look around and see the needs of our community and the many challenges that this pandemic is causing, this feels right, this feels good. We're excited to be part of this opportunity. Rutledge as she hopes the tree will make a comeback in 2021. Thanks, Leanne. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from the nonprofits about what this donation means to them. Well, now it's not that time of the show where we get to talk about pets. And today's furry friend comes to us from the Precious Paws Humane Society in Chisholm. Meet AJ. If you're looking for a cuddler, a lap warmer, a helpful office companion, well, then AJ is your guy. After being out on his own, this rescued kitty has found that he really loves people and he loves being safe and warm inside. AJ loves nothing more than to cuddle up on your lap and he shares his outgoing per personality with everyone he meets. If you'd like to learn more about AJ and his incredible story, you can call the number on your screen to set up an appointment. Still to come, schools switching to virtual learning will have some extra support coming from the state of Wisconsin. Real steel. Find yours. And find what fuels you. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 9,000 local steel dealers. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Northwest Outlet is number one when it comes to kids' winter clothing from the North Face and Columbia. Shopping Northwest Outlet for kids is a pleasure because they carry everything to keep them warm and dry in sizes infant to extra large for you. Jackets, winter coats, snow pants, bibs, mitts, gloves, hats, and smart wool socks, and winter boots from Kamek and Baffin and more. So keep the kids warm and dry this winter with the best from the North Face and Columbia. Shop Northwest Outlet, the children's winter clothing store. 1814 Belknap Superior, the store that saves you more. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Your friends at Security Jewelers love the holidays a ton. We are delighted to help our customers find something for their special one. Parents, children, a spouse, or a friend. A gift from Security Jewelers says you care without end. 
Some gifts are large and some gifts are small. This year, more than ever, heartfelt gifts mean the most of all. It might be a watch or a shiny new ring. Trust Security Jewelers to help you find the very best thing. Happy holidays! All sportsmen, regardless of your passion, run the risk of transporting aquatic invaders. So it's important, always clean, drain, and dry. Waterfall hunting is a passion for many, but it puts us into close contact with a lot of vegetation and bottom materials. This means we need to stay hyper vigilant against the spread of nuisance invaders like Eurasian water milfoil and zebra mussels, to name a few. Start by clearing all vegetation and sediment from your blind, decoys, push poles, and anything else that could harbor an invasive organism. Do a thorough clean off of your boat and trailer, starting at the bow and working your way to the back. Drain bilge and live well water by pulling plugs and fully trim the motor down to drain water from the outboard cooling system. Take it a step further at home and clean select gear with the hose and brush. You can't get everything at the access. Lastly, make sure your clothing and equipment have dried before going somewhere new. Hello, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. For the month of November, we are offering free upgrades to a premium wall system for all your bath and shower purchases. All of our products are backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal of Approval and come with a lifetime warranty. You can still get one of our great financing options for low monthly payments or zero down, zero interest, and zero payments till 2022. This offer ends November 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. Live, local, CBS3. COVID is hitting Wisconsin prisons hard. The State Department of Corrections reported more than 800 new COVID-19 cases among inmates on Monday, bringing the number of active cases to 2,063. Six prisons have outbreaks of more than 100 active COVID-19 cases among prisoners. They include New Lisbon, Fox Lake, Oshkosh, and Dodge Correctional Institutions, along with a transitional facility in Racine. Wisconsin's governor has announced millions of dollars to help schools and libraries teach remotely. Governor Tony Evers' administration announced that $3 million funding today. The money comes from a Technology for Educational Achievement grant. The program helps districts and libraries get the equipment and services necessary to better teach and support students remotely and in the classroom. Teach grant funding can be used for infrastructure equipment like access points, cabling, hotspots, and more. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, push to the limit. The nation's health care system straining to care for a record number of patients as governors take tough new measures, implementing new mask mandates and curfews. Plus, part one of our series, investigating sexual assault in the military. The heartbreaking story of what the family of one Army private says she endured while serving in uniform overseas. And this story, a couple together for seven decades, separated over coronavirus concerns, how they ended up back in each other's arms. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Right now, millions of people and billions of devices are connected to the Internet. Homes businesses, hospitals, schools. The security and reliability of these connections are more important than ever. That's why at Mediacom, we've built a network to protect them. A network that sees threats, fixes problems before they occur, and keeps you going with 99.99% .99 network reliability. There are a lot of choices when it comes to automotive care, but how can you find someone you trust? At East End Auto, our customers have trusted us for the past 20 years to provide them with the best auto care. As your area's full-service repair shop, with the most modern equipment available to us, and backed by a two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty, honesty is what our customer relationships are built upon. Locally family-owned and operated, stop out to see why East End Auto is the community's trusted auto repair home. Medicare isn't everyone's favorite thing to shop for, but with UCARE, it might be worth a browse because right now, UCARE is offering a $0 premium plan statewide. And unlike original Medicare, you also get prescription drugs, doctor visits, dental, hearing, and glasses. Fire off any questions to a decomplicator today. 
Hey, it's what we're here for. You care. People powered health plans. Make this the best holiday ever with the True Love Guarantee from Numi Jewelers. Give the gift of shimmering diamonds. This diamond earring and pendant set is $199 now through Small Business Saturday. Numi Jewelers, where true love is guaranteed. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Mack. Tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Tuesday evening. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and we'll see what's coming up tonight at 6. The U.S. has recorded more than 100,000 new cases per day over the last 14 days. Those COVID-19 numbers are much higher than they were early on in the pandemic. Now 28 states have tightened restrictions. Meanwhile, Minnesota reported nearly 6,000 new cases today and 26 new deaths. The state has now topped 260,000 cases and sits just shy of 3,000 deaths. Now it's being reported that Governor Walls is prepared to announce new restrictions on school sports, gyms and bars. No specifics have uh, been released as of yet on what those restric restrictions could look like. Stay with CBS 3 for the very latest. And tonight at 6, the pandemic has forced first responders to make many changes to ensure safety for everyone. But those changes have come at a cost for some fire departments. We'll have that story coming up tonight at 6. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next.